Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the Falcons in control of the football as we rejoin the action at quarter number three. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he's able to find Diggs. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Here's P. Ryan. Now P. Ryan is stripped to the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They'll run on first down. Evans, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Two yards, good enough for a first. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now, that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. The quick slant caught, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Ryan keeps it on the sleeve. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are back within a single score. Brandon, would you say they went from agony to elation in just a few quick seconds on that play? <laughs> Probably thought they were about to give it up in the red zone and then touchdown. Yeah, there is absolutely no way that they drew it up and said this is the way it's supposed to be done. It just happened. But the end will justify the means. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. This time Ryan will throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Yeah, they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive, missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And he's going to get about seven yards on three. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They'll try to run for it with Crowell. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. This is Crowell. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Card out of throw. It's a screen to Richard. Richard lost it, and the Falcons grab it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Again, here's P. Ryan. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Second and one, Ryan caught by Jones and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Now a carry for Piran. And down inside the 15 he goes. 10 yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. First down, it's Evans. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Go, 
Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And now a carry here for the fullback. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. To throw is Ryan. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So it's another field goal, his third of the game. Maybe not exactly what you're looking for, but does bring him level now. I like how you put that in there. It brings him level, right? Because if you're talking about kicking, Bringing that soccer analogy in. I love that one. I love that one a lot. You don't want to go for it on fourth down and come away with nothing, right? Go ahead and kick the ball. Make sure you get some points. Even if it's a safe call, I think it's the right call. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Let's go, D. Big right here. We got to step away. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Now Carr. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Carr to throw. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Atlanta now field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ended up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. The throw over the middle taken in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? They'll run it here with P. Ryan. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 20-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Ryan now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and 9. is good. 